So using the limit process, we can find the derivative. Any questions? When will we ever use this in real life? God damn it. One of the most popular complaints of mathematics is when will we ever use it? And this isn't a terrible argument. Addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division were tangible. They could be used on a daily basis and were seen as essential knowledge. Then we were introduced to decimals, negatives, exponents, polynomials, and then suddenly... Maths was seemingly useless. We went from how many apples and bananas are there to calculate the acceleration of a projectile, and there is no justification. The truth is, most of us do not ever need to use the advanced maths we spent all those hours on. A statistics from the Washington Post stated that only 22% of the nation's workers use any maths more advanced than fractions. Now some of you might be saying that mathematics develops critical thinking, that it trains the brain even if you don't end up using it. These people who claim mathematics is useless are not defying its correlation with applicable logic. Rather, they dislike all the formulas they had been forced to remember and feel as if mathematics could have been taught more effectively. So, is maths as useful as it's cracked up to be? Let's talk about that. We created numbers, and we learned to count from 1 to 10. We defined subtraction and addition. And through these operations, we were led into the negatives. Soon, we were taught to interpolate between integers, creating the decimal system. Letters were used to denote numbers, and to solve for the letters would be to get the answer. Statistics, financial stuff, graphs, probability, calculus. Maths diverged into a million fields, and somewhere along the way, its applicability was lost. This was likely more or less the journey you undertook as a student. Whether you hated or liked maths, we all witnessed its spiral into obscurity. Now one thing I should make clear is that I'm not arguing maths is completely useless. That would be the stupidest thing on this channel, and I've had my fair share of stupidity. A lot of the cool stuff we have is only because of the advancements made in maths and science. After all, why would humanity continue to study something for thousands of years if it really was useless? The question at hand is if only 22% of people use advanced math, then why should the other 78% waste their time on it? In fact, the Research Now group conducted a survey of students and found out that 68% of students felt they would enjoy maths more if they understood its use in their future. But there is something we have not accounted for. Although people may not believe they use mathematics, they might still do. Every time you see an equation in the news or hear a term you had learned in school, you draw connections with advanced maths, even if your job or other necessities don't require it. This aspect is hard to represent in quantitative data, but it is worth mentioning that mathematics is likely still there after graduation, just hidden away in an unreachable corner of your brain. So what should we do? Is mathematics not for everyone? Should those 78% of people be able to drop mathematics sooner? Or should we continue to teach mathematics, just integrate more applicable examples into the tests? Well, this is quite confusing. The other day, I realized that the hose, due to a constant acceleration by gravity, traveled in parabolic motion. Now, this was a rare scenario in which I was aware of ballistics in everyday life, and it felt pretty cool. Obviously, every time you kick a ball, hit a golf ball, play sports, you will realize this quadratic equation in use. So, maybe we could teach people more examples in real life? Possibly. but. The truth is that the applicability of maths is somewhat paradoxical. I remember learning derivatives and thinking it was so useful and mind-blowing to have an infinitely small change. Yet, when it was applied to velocity and acceleration, I realized that giving maths an application made me less interested as a whole. Because honestly, solving word problems with memorized formulas were not as fun as the concept in pure math. And that was one of the main complaints, the repetitive aspects. So, what should we do? So, to answer the age-old question, when will we ever use this? Maybe never. But hey, 
Maybe, if people keep trying hard and truly love the field, they can join the 22% who will use them. Alright, so a plus a, where a is an apple, then a squared would be a six-dimensional apple. Uh.